Well, John, you're just on the back of a 5k run. Can you shed a bit more light on what you and the staff at Pompey are doing this month? Yeah, so uh, Ali Nell, the club secretary, he, he came to the staff a couple of uh, couple of weeks ago and said um, that you know through the whole of October there's a challenge for Prostate Cancer UK, uh, which involves either walking, running, or cycling a set distance every day, and a few of us have foolishly signed up to it. So uh, I've gone from not um, doing any exercise over the past eight months since I've retired uh, to taking up a 5k run every day. So I've just um, it, plodded around Hillsy, around the back of the training ground, around, around the rugby pitches a couple of times. And to do my run for the day, I think the rest of the staff came in this morning and did theirs. But um, yeah, a, a really good cause. The, the other thing, uh, of course, is the fundraising side of it. Um, I'm currently on zero pounds on my page, so I'm sure that if we get a link out, then I can beat a few of the staff. And we're also in competition with some of the other clubs in the FL that are doing it. So I'm sure, uh, well, hopefully the, um, the Portsmouth um, faithful will, will back us on that. But um, I can... Trust. Uh, rest assured, you can trust us. We're all putting in the, the hard yard, and uh, it, it might sound like it's it's not a lot, but for um, for us old boys, it's um, and the ones that aren't particularly fit, it's a tough slog. Well, I'm sure there's probably something to do to help you out on that front. On to football matters. How's everything after after Tuesday? Good. Obviously, the the whole atmosphere around the place is um, you know is bright and and, and bouncy. Uh, you know, I think when you when you come off the back of a win like that on Tuesday night, the, the best thing to do is come back in and, and have another game to prepare for. I think it's always one of those great things about football. Um, winning games, you want to just keep going, you want to keep rolling on with confidence and I think the momentum that we built. So, yeah, it's, it's been a really good place here this morning. Uh, we did the, the post-match review and in the meeting room and, and then it was pretty much um, straight on to Port Vale. We, didn't have, um, we don't have much time to rest on our laurels. We've got to get going and, and, and keep going and make sure we press on for Saturday. Looking ahead to Saturday, we'll address, te we'll address team news first. Is there any update on Marlon? Yes, yeah, so Marlon had the results of his scan. As we thought when we sort of assessed him on, on Monday and decided not to, um, you know, really not to press on with anything, uh, it, it's not a great one. It's, it's probably about four to six weeks we're looking at him uh, being out with, with some ankle ligament damage. Uh, not the end of the world, really, but uh, one of those things that's it's really unfortunate because it happened in a tackle, an, an unnecessary tackle that obviously ended in a red card. They're, t they're tough to take. The um, the injuries where you think it's preventable, um, yeah, they, they they hurt, especially with Marlon in such um, sparkling form. And the way he's been this season is brilliant. So, uh, yeah, everyone's gutted for him, but it's not the end of the world for Marlon. He'll be back pretty soon. And um, the way that he works in the gym, the way that he applies himself out on the grass, uh, and more importantly at the moment, the way that he is around the squad, making sure that he's going to um, you know, be in and around everyone. He's got a huge part to play. He's, he's almost like having a a coach on the pitch at times as well so um, we're going to really need him to, to stick around and, and get behind the boys. We'll also be without Regan and, and Alex who are suspended after gaining five yellow cards. How do you think you'll navigate around that one? We just have to use the squad and that's what the, the whole point of the summer recruitment was about and we've had numerous examples this season of players that have come in and have stepped up when they needed to and, and they've done really well. There's players that have been out of the squad that have come in to start in lineups. Um, and vice versa, that, that's what happens and, and one player that thinks he's out of the mix um, on, on a Saturday might be called upon on Tuesday and the following Saturday and, and thankfully for, for us, because we always try and persuade the boys that this is the case, we've had plenty of examples this season where that's happened so uh, exactly the same on Saturday, we've got players that are fit, ready to go, everybody's I think had at least three starts this season with the cup games and uh, you know we're, we're all in a good place and we'll have to see who comes and fills in. It's obviously disappointing to lose those players, but looking on the brighter side, how important is it for those squad players to come in and take their chance? Yeah, that's what they've got to do. And um, uh, there are some really, really good experienced players that have been uh, left on the bench or left off um, the team sheet altogether. And there's some, you know, there's some people that can count themselves really unlucky. So when they do get the chance to come in, I think they've got to take that. Uh, I don't want to keep a huge amount of pressure on them. They've got to relax and enjoy themselves and know that it's just another game. And uh, we've got to treat it as such. It's, it's another league game against really good opposition. And yeah, really, really good chance for everyone to come and prove themselves. And just finally, in terms of team news, how are Connor and Cassini doing? Yeah, uh, they're coming on really well. Uh, Cassini's available for selection, um, possibly uh, again too far or again too soon for Connor. Um, he's touch and go, he's been out on the grass, he may train with us tomorrow. Um, if he does, he's obviously going to be in the fold for selection on uh, Saturday. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see with that one, but um, really good news on Cass. What are you expecting from Port Vale this Saturday? I think the, the, the Port Vale side that we're seeing this season is very different from, from last year. Uh, 
the start they've had in the league, barring that first game, I think the start they've had in the league has reflected how good they've been. Very, very good system, very well organised. They brought in some excellent players as well, um, and you know they're going to uh, definitely you know, prove to, to be a difficult nut to crack. I think on Saturday we've had a really, really good look at them in there, and yeah, I think there's a lot of positives that Port Vale can take. I thought they were very unlucky against Bristol Rovers the other night, and um, yeah, I'm sure they'll provide a stern test. How keen are you for the atmosphere on Tuesday to be replicated this Saturday? Yeah, I'm, I mean, it would be amazing if we if we can. I, I sort of get the the feeling that the the way that home games are going at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I don't have to sort of ask or, or want of anything from the fans. They're just in really good really good spirits at the minute, and they know that, that as a bare minimum, the lads are going to give um, you know give their all every time they go and, and set foot on the pitch. And 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 honestly, I think that's all they've they've ever asked for. They want to see. Um, you know they want to see passion at attacking football, and I think as long as as long as we show that we're trying to get there, then um, the atmosphere is going to be as good as it's uh, good as it's been. And, and to be honest, this season, uh, for a couple of games, it's, it's certainly been as good as it's been since I've been here, and, and even when I've played here previously as well. And that's a really good, uh, really good spot to be in. Obviously, the last minute winners helped, but even before that, I thought it was, um, you know, it was deafening from from all three sides actually, uh, to be honest. And that's that's another pleasing pleasing part of it. I think I can. Um, you know, I can hear everything. The whole ground now is starting to um, starting to get involved in in every single thing we do, and um, yeah, you know, the long may it continue.